The deep freeze is finally starting to break. We wanted to hear that, but some lake effect snow is still coming down. There are a few schools closed again tomorrow. Most are in Calhoun County. Storm Team 8 meteorologist Bill Steffen is here with a look at your daybreak forecast, Bill. We're still seeing a couple of uh, snow flurries in the air here in Grand Rapids. Uh, southern counties are dry, and I think when you wake up tomorrow morning, skies will be partly cloudy. We've got one more cold morning for you. Again, Storm Track Live showing the flurries. Allegan, Berry County, over toward the Charlotte area, back up through Grand Rapids. These will taper off within the next several hours here as our winds start to go southeast and are not coming across the lake anymore. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, roads are going to be, main roads will be in pretty good shape. Uh, they've been cleared off. But uh, some of those side streets, rural roads, the parking lots, the driveways and the sidewalks, still snow covered and quite slippery out there. Here's a look at current temperatures. Coldest to the south where the skies have already cleared five below in cold water. We've got uh, minus one there in Jackson. And as our winds go southeast, some of that cold air is going to be coming back toward Howland, Grand Rapids and Muskegon toward the early morning. With the light winds, wind chills aren't too bad. We're at six above here in Grand Rapids. We'll dip a little bit below zero early morning. But wind chills tomorrow afternoon should be around, oh, around uh, 10 to 15 or so. Here's the way it looks for the day tomorrow. A few uh, temperatures with minus signs in front during the early morning. But by noon, we're back up to around 17. Now, coming up, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the weather that's ahead for the weekend and the cold that may return next week.